So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Hmm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. 
They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean... the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells? I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So? The boss, with Colonel Volgan's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top-secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The Army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once, and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. 
And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. 